There are now three ways of controlling access to the engine through the Prisma Sync print server. One, user management via roles-based access. Two, user management via LDAP operator login. Three, user management via a configurable UI. In this video, you'll learn how to manage user access to your printer via role definitions in the Prisma Sync UI. You'll need a Vario Print DP line or color image press with Prisma Sync version 5 or later, or the OSE Vario Print 6000 series with Prisma Sync version 7 or later. You'll also need access to the settings editor for that engine. Let's review the default role definitions which are outlined in the user manual. This gives you a picture of the default roles already set up and the settings of what each can do or access. For example, the operator can only access personal jobs or those he or she sent in the control panel. The central operator can access those same things plus all jobs and remote tools such as remote manager. On a workstation, use the web browser and access your Prisma Sync settings editor using the engine IP address. Once in settings editor, go to configuration, then groups. You can see the default groups already set. If you click on operator and then edit, you can see that personal jobs and control panel are checked, matching the definition chart shown earlier. Hit OK or cancel to exit the screen. From here, you can also create your own group by clicking add. Type in the name of this new group. For example, we will use Shift 1 Op for the first shift operators. Then unclick Remote Tools, Maintenance Tasks, IT Settings, and Configuration Tasks. And then click OK. Now you have a new group. Next, we need to add Shift 1 Op as a user. Stay in the Configuration menu of Settings Editor and go to Users, then click Add. Add Shift 1 Op as a user filling in the information requested, including a password. Then check Shift 1 Op and click Member of on the toolbar. Then add Shift 1 Op as a member to its group. Next, keep Shift 1 Op checked and click on Configure from the User toolbar. Here you can set if this role or user needs to log in to access the engine. You can activate a timer and set the session period for both the local and remote UI. You can also activate a restricted number of password attempts and set the maximum number of password attempts if restriction is activated. Click OK and Shift 1 Op is set up. Now go to the Prisma Sync UI and log in as Shift 1 Op. On the UI in the bottom right, you'll see an icon with a person and a key. Touch this and the login screen will open. Next, choose your domain. Then, touch the user name box and a drop down menu will appear with all users or user roles. Select Shift 1 Op, then enter the Shift 1 Op password and hit OK. You're now logged in as Shift 1 Op. Use these same steps to set up an actual person and place him or her as a user in a group. Let's stay in the same user menu under Configuration within Settings Editor. Click Add again. Now let's add John Smith as a user with his email and password. Add John Smith as an operator. Click Member of, select Operator, and click the right pointing arrow to add John Smith to this role. Next, we need to configure John Smith. Let's choose with Login. Leave the default session times and click Restricted Password Attempts to activate it. Let's leave the maximum number of attempts at 3. Now, let's go to the UI and log in as John Smith. Touch the login icon on the bottom right and, when the login screen comes up, choose your domain. Choose Custom because we're not logged in as a role but rather a user. Then put in the username, John Smith, the password, ABC, and hit OK. Now you'll remember that John Smith is a member of the operator role. And if you look back at your original role definition of operator, the operator has access to personal jobs and the control panel. So let's just go to the waiting queue and try to open a job. When you select a job, you'll see the top bar is grayed out. John Smith did not send any of these jobs, so he cannot access them. Let's log out as John Smith and log in again as Central Operator. Go to the Waiting Queue. If you select those same jobs, you'll see the Central Operator has access to them all. You can then go into Properties or delete the job, print the ticket, or take another action. 
Now you have learned how to set up and manage users via role definitions for the VarioPrint DP line and the Color Image Press with PrismaSync version 5 or later. The steps are also the same on the Ose VarioPrint 6000 series with PrismaSync version 7 or later. For more information on the PrismaSync print server, please contact your local authorized dealer or visit www.usa.canon.com.